What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Let Dirt Fly YouTube channel. Today we have an exciting one because I've been, I finally got a mod I've been waiting for for a little while. If you guys notice, my stock tires are back on right now and uh, that's for a little bit of a reason you'll see coming up here very shortly in this video. So many of you know that this is my 2020 Can-Am Outlander 650 XMR and uh, this quad has been doing great for me. Um, right now it actually has um, a Dalton DBL 650 clutch kit in it and it seems to work really good and um, I've actually been running a pair of system through wheels that were mounted up with some um, ITP cryptid 28 inch tires and this thing's been doing good. Now if you're also familiar with the channel you'll know that my buddy Seth just got himself a 2018 Can-Am Outlander 850 XMR and now has become the big dog of the channel which is just not settling well with me. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's making me a little upset. So we're going from our Dalton DBO 650 clutch here. Boom. Check that guy out. There we go. Going from this guy to primary. CV Tech. So in this video I'm going to go over why you might want to do a setup like this versus just a regular clutch kit. Is this worth the $300 to $400 difference that this is? Because I believe this was around $200 and this was almost like six. And I had this all set up by Griffin Performance. And um, it wasn't set up for 28s, this guy, so you're going to see it's going to probably accelerate a little bit harder than normal because uh, there's a reason my stock tires are back on. Like I said, you'll see in a minute. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull off the clutch cover and uh, clean it actually real quick because ever since I swamped my quad, I have not cleaned it yet. So it's, uh, it's dirty in there. I know it is because every time I start my quad, big poof of dust comes out of the, out of the uh, snorkel exhaust. So um, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up real quick. And then um, I'm going to get some different uh, speed runs in for you guys and also try to get a G meter going on the GoPro to kind of see if it picks it up at all, see if it accelerates any harder with the actual uh, clutch in it. But I'm going to do this all on the stock tires right now. Just this way if you have the same quad, you can kind of see the difference in everything. Now my quad is also tuned with the exhaust um, and other than that it really doesn't have much else going on besides the snorkel and stuff which that doesn't add much performance. So let's get right into it. So as I was about to start pulling my panels off, once you know it by the grace of the shipping gods, my package came. Say hello to the new setup, guys. Boom, 31 inch System 3 XM 310s. Yes, they clear. I rate checked. They do clear, barely. They kind of touch when the suspension's at full droop, but it took a full week to get them because uh, each one was shipped individually. So I got one at a time. So this one I already had mounted. The one I just got is actually over there, but I have my full set now. So this is why I got the CV Tech here and it's all tuned up for the 31 inch tires. I'm excited. I hope this gets you guys excited because this is gonna be awesome. Let's get this clutch cover off. Let's get this film done for you guys. So this way you guys can see the difference between the clutches. Let's just get into it now. I'm excited. Don't be me, people. Holy crap, look at all that dirt. All right, stock primary, going back to stock here. Just like that. Get this guy out. Now those are changing. To go back to stock. Is this green springs coming out? Oh my God, look at that inside. You guys can see that but there's just all kinds of nasty stuff happening in there but yeah so green springs coming out going back to the stock uh, spring and then this guy splits in half just like so if it'll come apart because it's so dirty jeez all right hang on. there we go so that comes off you want to keep your orientation the same i think i marked it last time yes i did so you always want to mark it as you can see oop you're on the camera i put black marks there so you want to keep that in but so these are the Dalton flyweights. We're gonna swap these back to stock. And like I said, stock spring. And then, yeah, we're gonna see how the stock setup does. All right guys, so I wanted to do a stock video, but we have one on the channel already, stock versus the Dalton. But for a reason, this uh, this guy, I don't know if you can see in there, 
It's all kinds of screwed up for some reason. My stock weight and uh, won't slide nicely on the oh, GoPro's turn off. Um, won't slide nicely on the bolt and everything. So instead of dropping down nice like this, you can see how this is kind of everybody's turning off here. Jeez. So instead of just flopping in the wind like this, like they're supposed to, it was super stiff to work back and forth and whatnot. So don't want to run it like that. It's not going to work correctly. So it's going to skip doing a stock deal, and we're going to go ahead clean up my belt compartment here, CVT compartment, and uh, go ahead and get this uh, get this clutch on wherever it's at there over there. All right, so you're gonna need two different tools to do this. You're gonna need a, a belt tool for the can amps. So you should have this already, if anything. Mine's a little rusted. But um, yeah, you should have this because you're gonna need it to change your belt. So I have this, and I also have, it's already in there, the primary puller for the stock clutch. Unfortunately, only getting one use out of that. And I'm going to an aftermarket clutch, so it's not gonna work anymore. But this guy just threads right in here. You guys go until she tightens up. Whatever that is, there we go. Let's give it some cranks. As you can see, the belt's falling in, I think. Yeah, you guys can kind of see it. One more bearing's coming out here. Expand this thing good, because I'm gonna hose everything out and air it out. Get some, some water. There you go. Belt comes right off. You can do this also with the uh, what do you call it? But yeah, this belt was getting a little torched. Look at that. Not too bad. Good spare. This is actually the um, I don't know if it says it on here anywhere. It's kind of wore out. You can't really read it. But this is the Super ATV Badass clutch or um, belt, and wasn't bad. But got something different. We're gonna try this go around. First, let's get this primary off and see what size that is. It's probably gonna be three quarter, just like the other bolt. There you go. So, give this guy. There you go. Just like that. Off she comes. It's good to see everything's looking pretty good inside here. Not too shabby. Definitely want to clean things up though, because, uh, yeah, it's a little dirty in there. Get my tool out. Boom. Yeah, look at all the dirt in there. I don't think the one way bearing was even working. God knows. All right, so one thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is one of the reasons why you'd want to go to a primary setup, especially when you're going to be running something like I'm running, 30, 31 inch tires. Um, so if you look at the size of one-way bearing here, um, it's pretty big. Um, not huge, but this is where the belt's going to ride most of the time, especially when you're about to go into a hole. Um, this is when you're about to pin it and this is, this is what's doing the work. So on this guy, you can see it's astronomically smaller like very very small and this is their one way bearing and what that's going to allow to do is the belt can ride down lower in the clutch sheaves and give you a little bit more off the line which is going to help you run bigger tires and also the way that if you get like a custom setup like i did from griffin performance they're going to have this thing already all set up spring wise weight wise and everything ready to go for your application so i told them exactly the mods i had done the tires i'm running and yeah this thing should be really good so we're gonna find out right now let's get a uh, get the belt housing all cleaned up and get it all together all right just set her in place here to see what's kind of gonna kind of look like and it's looking good so it looks like i have to put this washer on there i'm gonna guess I should probably look at the directions and double check oh, seems about right all right so K&M wants this bolt. I did do this right. They want you to remove these two guys, it looks like. Because um, all they show in their picture is that washer and the bolt. But uh, K&M wants this torque to 89 foot-pounds, so that is what we're going to do. And good luck to me trying to do that with this. I'm going to need a block of wood. All right. Oops, I'm some stuff over. Yeah, this is my invention. So it's putting a wood block underneath there. It's going to work great, I hope. Find out. Oh, that worked really good. Oh, it's holding there. Not where I planned on holding it, but kind of crushing my my block here. Get this more under there. One eternity later. All right, finally got I had to use a piece of four x four, but finally got it. Got the belt on. Went with the gate thread line just for 
for now, just to try it out and see, because I've heard pretty good things about it. Some guys say other things, the guys say run the Maverick belt and stuff, but we're gonna see, uh, see how it goes right now. We're gonna fire it up and take it for a spin. All right, guys, so this is my driveway. I'm not going for top speed or anything. Gotta watch my leg here because, uh, yeah, that's a clutch spinning. But I'm gonna try to record on the GoPro here, the speed, and uh, also I think they pick up G's too. See if we improve at all. So this is what the Dalton Clutch Kit 650, or DBO 650. you guys here. Alright so low range here we go this is Dalton DBO 650. Alright guys so first ride with the CV tech here. It actually seems quieter than the uh, stock fed up. It's a little louder with that noise whatever that is. So. But I will tell you, I just took it for a quick ride down the driveway, and uh, well, holy crap. Um, you can definitely tell it's set up for 31 inch tires, so this might not be the best comparison of the two, but the shifting and everything, you can feel it's a total difference. Um, off the line, you're gonna hear a massive RPM increase, so it's gonna be way more in its power band right off the line and everything. That's not quite a thing as I, oh. I'm pleasantly surprised. Listen to that thing, it's dead silent. That's freaking awesome. Anyway, so yeah, you're gonna hear a big RPM increase off the line, but uh, this thing freaking rips now. Here we go. She moves. Question is, will wheelie in freaking high? No way, it wheelies in high. Hang on. Oh yeah. Gosh dang. Alright, let's do the low test. I have a feeling it's just gonna kiss rev limiter right off the bat. Just because of these tires. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's right up there by rev limiter. But that's because I had the wrong size tires on. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Listen to that thing, how quiet that is. Let me put it in park if I can get to park. Can-Am shuffle, baby. There she is. Oh, there's there's a gear. I'm just gonna do neutral. Yeah. Can-Am power. Listen how quiet that is. Like seriously. You can't even see it, hear it. That's freaking awesome. But yeah, definitely gonna be kissing rev limiter a little bit with these tires, but those bad girls are going on right now. All right, so yeah. Um, that's a huge difference. Uh, it's definitely peaky. Um, and the RPM, just, I didn't really know why, it's because I got these tires on our little 28s and they're really light so they spin up really fast. So um, this thing is not set up at all for the 28s, it's set up for those 31s. Um, they spec'd it all out and everything, did exactly what is going to be needed. So right now I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the clutch cover back on. And then I am going to put the side on and then I just have to finish mounting one tire real quick, the last one. And we're going to see how this thing rips with the 31s on it. I'm curious to see. I had the 31s on the other day, just on the back, just to see if it killed power, and with the Dalton, it did pretty good, I gotta say. So I'm curious with this setup, how it's gonna perform. Alright folks, and there she is, System 3 XM310 tires, 31 inch. So they did rub a little bit when I wheelied before, just testing it, um, right there. So, do you have a plan already coming for footwells and whatnot? And the rear is I don't even want to talk about. They, uh, <laughs> at normal riding, it's fine, 
but when the suspension completely droops, she rubs a little bit. So, no biggie. A little self clearance, right? But, uh, yeah, she looks mean. Like, real mean. Looks freaking huge. So, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the uh, speed comparison clip, I guess you could say, because this is actually set up now correctly, and I took it down the driveway, and this thing rips, even with the 31s on it. It feels like it did, it feels like I still have the 28s on it. It's pretty, it's impressive. So right now I'm gonna grab the helmet, go ahead and get those clips for you guys, and then we'll wrap it up with you guys. All right, so here goes the CV Tech clutch kit. I gotta go over here a little bit because my girlfriend's car is there. But we'll just go right here, so it's not too close. All right, let's see here. So this is the, this is the CV Tech kit. So let's see how she goes. Definitely pulls hard. Got up on the rev limiter for a second there. Might have to change the weights up a little bit. Might be a little, a little too heavy or too light there. I'll figure which way it goes. It's funny, it's the same height as yours now. Oh, it's dead. The back is a little bit higher, but I did lower my suspension. Oh yeah, it is higher. My so. front and your front are probably even. Eh, mine looks freaking huge now. <laughs> All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope this helped you guys out if you are looking to buy a, either a clutch kit or a clutch. They both seem to do really good for what they are. Um, the Dalton can go up to a 31 inch or 32 inch tire. Um, I just didn't have the correct spring and weights for it, but that's no big deal. You just call them up, say, hey, this is what I got going on, and they send you all the right stuff, so it's really cool. But I'm um, really happy with the CV Tech so far, and right now, I don't know if you can hear in the background, Seth is here, and we are gonna go try this thing out. So next video is gonna be the first rip on them, which is gonna happen right now. It's getting a little dark out, but we're still gonna go hit it. So make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, commenting down below, and make sure you guys are following us on TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff because uh, we really appreciate your support. So we'll just have to catch you guys next time on Let There Fly. Have you forgotten